Hey everybody, Jake here with TrendSpider. We are going to check out Microsoft going into the second to last day of the week. And to start off with on the daily candle, we can see that um, you know we've had a pretty big move down from around the top at 115, 116, all the way down to the bottom yesterday around 100, which bounced right about a dollar above the EMA 50, which is the weekly. So anytime you see a dotted line like this on the chart, it means that we're overlaying a longer term time frame on the shorter term time frame. So you can see here, notice how the EMA 50 is here on the weekly, and then you can also see the EMA 50 here on the daily. So it's just a little bit of a different view, but gives some utility to traders who want to see multiple time frames on one chart. Um, to look at the weekly candle here, what we can see is we've got two kind of massive hammer looking candles here showing that even though sellers were in control, buyers came back in and bought the dip. Um, and what we can see here is the lower indicators are getting a little oversold. Um, however, there is room to move down, but um, as you can see, we are definitely more oversold than we've been in a while. Uh, also on the daily candle, what we can see here is the daily RSI and the daily percent range, both of these up here, are about to cross the weekly RSI and percent range. So it's already happened on the percent R, it needs to happen on the RSI. Generally, what we look for when we overlay the weekly or any longer term RSI or lower indicator over a shorter term one is when the shorter term one crosses the longer term, that is an indication that a longer term uh, trend to the upside or downside may be occurring. Um, what we see here as well is the MACD about to cross. So all in all, if this can kind of hold like this into next week, this is a rather strong weekly candle going into uh, the first full week of November. Thanks so much for listening in. We'll have a weekend update coming on Sunday.